Optics is gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit sniffly today. Having uh, having some allergies. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this started. So we have a we have a doll slaughtered up here. Let's go ahead and do this raid. That's how I do that. But in tape sequel. And there we are. So for some reason there's like two different copies of the game. And I don't know if there's any difference between the two of them. But uh I guess I'll go with Wolfen 2. Cause you know, two two is always a good number, I guess. And I believe to do this CD Wolf 3D and then CD Wolf 3D and for a third time CD Wolf 3D and now there now I can just launch Wolf 3D dot exe and I just start up the game right there Oh, here, let me look at it. Turn the volume of this down a little bit. I'm gonna have to do this in the volume mixer. Which also means I can, I can pause the classical music now. It's like, excuse me, I need to blow my nose really quick. Water. Let me actually, let me actually get into this game. Gosh, the sounds, just, just like the mini music is, is, is taking me back. So, um, apparently DOSBox is recognizing my, it, it does recognize my Xbox controller, so I can actually use my Xbox controller as a joystick. But, uh, I'd have to like set that up right. And so, and so I'm, just, I'm just gonna play on the keyboard. Because that is, that is how I just always play it anyway. So I'm gonna go custom controls run is gonna be I guess I'll keep that as that open is gonna be enter fire is gonna be end I guess I don't think I'm really gonna need that because I'm just gonna use the mouse to fire so I'm gonna be playing it with a combination of keyboard and mouse and also let me go ahead and fix this really quick. So this is not, not usually the kind of game I, I play, but this is this is definitely one of the first it's one of one of the earlier games I played in my life. And okay, no, no, no. I guess I guess we can do uh, bring him on. It's it's been like a while since I really got into this. I tried I was, I was playing around with this yesterday. It was all it was all starting to come back to me. So I think I'll I think I'll bring him on. Cause uh, I'm definitely gonna be better at this than I was when I was younger. Just is still weird though. Hello, Stealthy. Congratulations on being first. 
Here, can I turn the game volume down a bit too? It's too much. Okay, actually, I change that in this. Hold on, I have to give myself, I have to sneeze, hold on. Gosh, excuse me there. It's been a lot of like a cigarette smell getting to my apartment lately and making me sneeze and give me bad allergy issues. Excuse me there. So I don't think I can actually adjust the volume in here. I'm gonna open up the volume mixer. Just cause the sound of me like pressing enter on the walls, it's kinda loud. But let me know how this is. If, it, if, if the game is still too loud, I can just turn it down. So we can go back to this. But hello there, Stealthy. How's it going today? Oh gosh, I already got shot. This isn't going on for me. Not bad, really. Just starting out, though, I guess. See, I'm gonna be pressing up against the walls through a lot of this, trying to find every secret. Because there's a lot of secrets hidden in this game, and never in my life was I able to find all of them. I'm pretty sure there's actually no secrets around here. I'm pretty sure I spend much time in my life searching around this. I was probably like four years old when I played this game. This is this is definitely I think this is the first first person shooter that I've ever played in my life. Maybe not the first video game I played in my life. But definitely the first shooter I played in my life. This, this is how I learned how to use DOS, because I had to type the command line. Yeah, I had to type the command line. Okay, so I do, I do remember some of this. I know that there is... I know I should shave right here, because watch this. Watch, just watch, watch what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And so like I was saying, there's a lot of secrets hidden in this game. Uh, like right here, I know that this is this is one for sure. If I go up there, excuse me, I did like a little bit. If I go up there, no, now I get an SMG. So now I'm now I'm really ready to go. So this, this, this room only exists so you shoot the dogs. There's, there's nothing else that happens in this room. There's absolutely nothing else. There's, there's some dog food. If your health is down, you need the dog food. But there is, as, as far as I know, unless I've missed it in my life, there is a... There's not even like a secret or anything in this room. If you hear that sound, the sound of like... That's me pressing enter to try to see if there's a secret on the wall. I just, no. Okay, that dog is actually gonna is actually gonna hurt me. That was actually not a good dog. That that one was that one is a Nazi dog. Like that one that one is the one that actually like bought into it all. It's I had, I had no choice. I guess that's that's all there is to the How does how does this look by the way? Uh, wait. Is that is that, is that your artist there? No one came there. Is that the sister I came there? Yeah, it's the one I came there. So I guess I don't wanna go. That's it. No, no, this is the way I came right. And then I went to that. Yeah, let's see if I can get myself turned around here. 
Yeah, and then this is the way. Get to there. I, I hope this game looks fine on the stream. It's uh, I know it's not like the, the latest graphics. I don't know if it looks good being fully like wide like that. Um, let me also move my face area a bit because I just realized I am covering up part of the score. Let me wait for my stream to update so I can see how that actually looks. Because it's every time you minimize the game. I know, I know. There we go. Yeah, I guess that's good. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter which floor I'm on, I guess, either. But now you can see my score. Um, so which, which way did I come in from? I came from this way. So, let's go this way. <laughs> Gosh dang. Were they so dramatic? So I remember, I remember some level, I have, I have some memory from when I was like four years old playing this game, that there was like some sort of area where there's the green light, and there's like a, a hidden wall next to one of those green lights. I'm not sure it's on this level though. Come on, come on, come on in. Oh, look at that. Don't worry, they're, they're, they're gonna come to me. You can be on the right side of the screen, the gun isn't too important. That, that is also true. I couldn't actually be over there. And maybe I'll do that. I mean, you, you can kind of see which gun I have anyway. That's me. I'm I'm actually... I'm the weapon myself. The weapon just should pass Metal Gear. Metal Stink. Stink gun. <laughs> I wish I was game with a stink gun. See, like, so a lot of, a lot of the time the secrets are hidden on, like... Things like this. Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. As. Excuse me. I was actually not expecting that. Which is good because I could use the ammo. So, like I said, secrets are often hidden on stuff like that. There's sometimes. I know there's at least one area. There's, a, there's definitely at least one place that has, like, a secret area within a secret area. Maybe I should like put that in my time. I'm going for a hundred percent secret run. If if I miss some of these secrets though, I'm just gonna keep going on them. I wanna I wanna find all the secrets because it it actually tells you at the end if you found all the secrets. Never in my life have I found all the secrets. Everything is made in blocks with the same texture and all sides. Yeah, it's it's Oh no. Where did they even come from? It's definitely a better room, I'm sure. But that that's part of the charm of it. It's it's definitely interesting. And the, the controller are interesting because if I press the left and right arrows, it doesn't actually strafe me, it turns me. And if I want to strafe left and right, I have to hold down control while I push left and right. And I can also move myself forward and backwards with the mouse, and I can move myself left and right with the mouse too. So it's, it's quite an interesting combination of controls. It takes some getting used to. This, this game is also probably part of why I play with the arrow keys. Try to also do them inside. <laughs> like, I, it's, you just, it just takes some practice. 
if you've if you've been spoiled by modern day equivalents, it's it takes some getting used to. DOS, uh, Doomon DOS was the only Doom I had to play at one point in my life. Right, y'all are, y'all are just spoiling stuff. But now it's, it's, it, it really it does feel weird playing older games. Like, even not even playing M64 games with a single analog stick. Oh, even playing M64 games with a single analog stick. This definitely um, feels off. Off to me, it feels very strange. So, you know, 100% kill ratio, only a 60% seeker ratio, and only 65% of the treasure. And I, I, I clicked on every single wall. Let me have some motor really quick now. Yeah, maybe it was an emulator properly. I'm actually doing this on an emulator. This is running on DOSBox right now. And, um... Um, I know, like, CPU speed can affect things. That's definitely a big issue with, um... Playing old games and DOS games on modern hardware. Is that, uh... A lot of, like, the speed of the game is based on the CPU frequency. And when you have a CPU that measures in the gigahertz... And you're playing a game that, that was made in CPUs for only a few hundred megahertz. And then... Oh my gosh. Puppy! <laughs> I didn't want to shoot you either, puppy, but you're gonna bite me. Then... Then... Like, uh... I know, I know, I know in the DOS box there's an option to adjust CPU speed. <laughs> Dude, why do they put so many dogs in here? They just want to make you upset. I'm starting to think that these Nazis might have been bad people. A lot of emulators basically make a virtual CPU for all the games to make the speed what it was originally. Gosh, that makes a lot of sense. It sounds kind of crazy, but it's probably the simplest way to do it in the end. Like, why try to make it work with something else when you can just... I, know, I guess I guess it probably doesn't take a lot of power to emulate an old CPU, considering now the CPU you're emulating it with is, is many multitudes greater. I'm sure it can spare a little bit of processing power. See, there's just so many empty rooms where you think there'd be a secret, but there's just not. I just want secrets. Give me the secrets. Where are they hiding? So, I know at least one of these levels I actually have to find a, a key card in one of these rooms. I'm not sure if it's this level, but there's definitely, um, and maybe the next level, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a key card I have to find in one of these little side rooms. So it's, it's important to check them all. I, I like to get a, I, this, like, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, just restart a level if I don't get 100%. But I'm gonna try to go for 100% on each level if I can. I wanna at least make an effort to, to find all the secrets and I'm gonna crawl in. I already wanna hear you. Are you on the sun? So, can I run faster? Oh, oh there's a run button, isn't there? 
Oh my goodness, I can make this crazy game even crazier. Oh, we got that. The SS officers now. I don't think this, this dude's doing too well. There's also a fire button on the keyboard. I can entirely play this with the keyboard. You gotta watch out. Ah. Here, I wanna I'll set up a good virtual machine try to make tool assisted speedrun for some game. That'd be really cool. It's probably, um, probably a lot cheaper than setting up an actual vintage retro hardware. See, like, uh, there's definitely some point in life where, like, you would think that, like, older computers would be cheap because they're so outdated now and no one wants them. And I, I don't really know the prices, but I bet it costs a lot of money for to get, like, old cheap computer parts. When gosh, I remember years ago, people would just give me old computers because they they had no use for them. I'm pretty sure I actually have some old computers in my parents' house. I should have uh, should have looked for those when I was there on Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna have to like go back down again. Take a look sometime. Someone else down here? Ah! Oh, there's him. It's, it's down here. Oh, there's gotta be. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be. With with how I uh, with how I only got like sixty percent of the secrets all stream, it makes me feel like I have to press on every wall. Because, like, where could those secrets be if I actually missed them like that? I missed 40% of them. So, anyways, it's just the same color. Oh, no, it's like a. like a sink room. This new bath just sinks. so far. Virtual Machine is running, is running Linux as most well tools assisted speedrun tools for Linux. I mean, that makes sense. Linux, Linux is just, I don't know, you might as well just be running Linux anyway. I really want to get like a, I really should set up a dual boot of, of Linux on my computer. Like, for as much of a computer nerd as I am, you would think that Linux would be the operating system I use. And I always meant to get into it and start using it, but I, I, sh I never was able to focus on actually doing it. But dang, I really should have set up a dual boot of Linux sometimes so I can start playing around in it. Or if I could run like a, a virtual Linux, I guess. But I, I want to be able to just boot up into Linux as well. What I've seen so far, a good way to look for them is thinking about the level layout and try to find walls or wall blocks would be able to shift back to entire wall blocks. Yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it because, like, there's definitely not gonna be anything on this wall because this wall is just this, this skinny thin wall going into this room. So it'd have to be, like, a, a big outer wall. Most of the time they are marked by like paintings and stuff like that. Though that's definitely not always the case. I'm not sure if there's any special switches or anything 
just set off some of them. I never actually beat this entire game. I don't know how far I ever made it through this, but I was like literally four years old <laughs> when I first played this, and you know, for very for a four year old, that was probably decent enough, but definitely like, uh, definitely wasn't that good. <laughs> Game on Linux is still a long game. Crochet is doing its best. But, uh, can't get the emulator on. Oh, yeah, I've heard about Proton. Isn't Proton like a. Isn't that a replacement for like OpenGL? Or something like that? It's supposed to be like. Oh! See, I told you there's at least. I remember there being a green light. And I remember there being like. a thing. Can you use a sippy gram? And sometimes... It's another SMG. S and some, sometimes there are actually... Hidden rooms within hidden rooms. And I've definitely seen it happen before. You have a full on ammo. There you go. It's worth it. Yeah, that, and that's, that's been a big part of why I've stuck with Windows, because it, it's just all the, all the stuff I need to use just, uh, just works on Windows. I've, I've been a primarily PC gamer for the past 20 years at least. You know, like, I played this game on DOS back when I was 4, it, which is n like 93, I guess. 1993 was the year I turned 4. And... But like, I mean, ever since I was like 12 at least, PC, PC gaming's been my primary thing, so I've, I've always used Windows, because gaming's been uh, one of the big things I use computers for. Oh, well, there's a lot of that in there. Let's just close this up. Oh, they open it up here and there. They're on me. For those of you who don't know, that's that's German for my life. Like, oh no, my life! I wasted it being a worthless Nazi instead of doing something actually worthwhile. They should have thought of that before. Proton is basically an interpreter layer that converts Windows OS calls to Linux calls in real time. Tries its best to handle Vulkan, DirectX, etc. But some stuff just hasn't been figured out. Oh, I've been in here already. Have I? Have I actually been in here? I don't remember this room. This, this, this. No, I haven't. I have not. Yeah, oh, I might actually die. I should not have just ran in there. Where is it? Where are those dogs dead? I think these stink Nazis shot their own dogs. Give me that. Some stuff hasn't been figured out. It's an open source project developed by Valve. Oh dang, I had no idea that uh, that Valve was behind that. that. That's honestly really cool. Somehow Valve continues to just be the best gaming company continuously over and over. For example, Super Animal Royale will not launch through Proton. Interesting. I guess I have been in here. I think that Super Animal Royale wouldn't take a lot to make it run. But I guess there's some complexities to it all. Even in a game like Super Animal Royale, there's probably some sort of like shaders and stuff that need to be processed. It's a big one. It's a 
there's just, there's just food down there. But yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's, there's a key. I guess I didn't, I knew there was one of the early levels had a key in it somewhere. Could remember exactly which one. But there it is. Might as well, um, come back down here. It's my lab. Checked in there. I, f I feel like there's gonna be so many secrets that I'm missing here. Oh, I just blindly went around that corner. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? That actually really hurt. I'm, I'm playing on the slightly harder difficulty mode. <laughs> I really shouldn't really be careful. Guess I'm gonna go back and eat that other food. I only have 56% health. It definitely must have missed some, some big secret areas around here. That's what they like the uniform are. Like, come on, the last one got a secret right at the, right at the end. That's gonna be like 40% like secrets this time. 25% secret? I only killed 65%. That, that was such a big area. I got, I got lost in turn around, so it's like, how did I miss like 35% of the people even? Maybe we can update the, the stream demo. to break the biggest barrier from Linux, which is third-party indie cheat software, being able to run them under Linux is massive, <laughs> since a lot of online AAA games use them. And basically, like every game these days, uh, uses some sort of anti-cheat sort of DRM thing. They're, they're right there. They're right there. That's frustrating having programs that scan your computer and break games and make them work poorly. Even uh, even if you bought the game. But mostly you're really dishes people who actually bought the games having DRM issues and stuff. That sounds like a big service to everyone to be able to just bypass them. in here. Another hallway. Of course it's the same oh huh. So what about this? I 
Every time I see a green eye like this, I'm gonna be like, no, that, that must be marking a secret. I'm not a professional software also, so you can always all my dear. Um, yeah, there's like, um... I'm trying to think of a, a program I saw recently. I saw this picture online of a program that was doing that. Okay, no. Oh yeah, it's it's with the new Minecraft launcher. With the everyone's complaining about the new Minecraft launcher, and apparently in the new launcher, you have to have an internet connection to actually launch Minecraft, which is like stupid because Minecraft is probably one of the best things you can do when your internet's out and you don't have anything else to do. I guess I mean Adobe as well. I, I want to start, I kind of want to start moving away from using Adobe uh, software. Because like, I don't know, I'm, I'm so used to Photoshop, I've been using Photoshop for at least like 15 years. I'm, I'm very proficient with it. It's, it's gonna be really weird when I switch programs and all the hotkeys are different. But like, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely don't want, I definitely don't want the I definitely don't want to play for the pay for the creative cloud monthly subscription. I don't, I don't that's it's definitely not my thing. Very free replacements basically all of these software. Cheap for you say free choice. I mean you know, soft software can come at all sorts of prices, you know? Sometimes the price doesn't always matter so much. It can, it can fluctuate here and there. Sometimes you can find it for a really good deal. get pretty dang big. Uh, there is one hallway that I was in that I never finished exploring that I kind of want to go back now because I, I thought I would have a chance to go back but no the hallways just keep going. It's probably gonna lead me back around at some point. I'm gonna go really back really quick. Cause I, I don't know, maybe I missed something back there. And then, and then there's all of this down here. Some of these levels are just gigantic. I'm pretty sure they do that loop back around on themselves eventually. Plus there's a lot of uh, food in here for me to come in my house, so this is a good place to come into. I have this one photo editor that's a single time payment of 50 bucks and you just have it activated on as many devices you want and you don't even need internet to use it. That does sound nice. Uh, especially for a photo editor because like um I I use Photoshop for a lot of stuff. I use it I use it for graphic design and things like that, but uh, I am also a photographer and I uh, actually use it for uh, like actual photos I take as it is intended for. So anything that's good with photos is is something that I could use. I am getting myself lost in in this place. Well, there's there's the end. And I need the key for that. So maybe the way I was going originally was was a better way. If only Adobe was like that. Like Adobe's good and all, but honestly, like a lot of the features that Adobe popular uh, Photoshop popularized are just common features. Like you know, Adobe was like really you know popularized it, and there's a point where it's like your only option. But now there's so much software out there. There's there's like free stuff for everything basically. 
lot of stuff that nobody does. You can, you can, there's like websites that have browser-based photo editors that can do a lot of what Photoshop does. See, if nobody else makes vector illustration software, the same exact place. Hey, come on. Got the illustration one for 20 bucks back when I was in beta? My score's 40,000. Is that why that made that noise? But that's, that's pretty decent price. I never actually used Illustrator much myself, but I feel like I should. Like, I always used Photoshop for graphic design, because I just like using one program. But Ill Illustrator's really better for that, though. So maybe I should get that program, too, and start... Start doing stuff like that. Super light run. It's also very nice. Because the photo Photoshop definitely uses a sizable bit of RAM sometimes. Though sometimes I just do intense things for Photoshop. Like, some sometimes I work with and process files so big that they crash Photoshop. Oh my gosh! Settle down there! I can draw my feet when I shoot them. But to be fair, some some of my Photoshop files are multiple gigabytes in size. A lot of time if I'm working on like a, a big photo, my my Photoshop file might be like seven or eight gigabytes. Maybe eleven gigabytes for a single photo. And that, that's for a PSD that has like all the layers and everything. So is that just it down here? There's not a secret. There's there's just a bunch of people to shoot and like nothing else. Photoshop in front of my first laptop and this did run lag free. That sounds pleasant. That just that just shows you like why I use Photoshop when something else can do with the job so much better. Sip of water. Okay, I'm back. So where did I come from? This that's the end. Okay, so that's good, so I found where the end is at least. And I'm not sure if I'm so Alright, so then, take a look at that when I have a chance. Do you appreciate the, the recommendations? Yeah, that's that big one for a while. But did I go down this way? Is this where you started? No, that's where I just came from. That's just the same room. So this is, that's, it's the end is right there. That's just right, right there. And they happen to be having a sale. I'll look into that, I'll have to, um... Oh wait, no, this is the room I just came from. Okay, now I get this backwards. Excuse me, I get just sometimes you get distracted when I read the bullet outs. You'll have to, um... Have to look into that. Uh... Alright, I have... Okay, it's, and that's the end. Now I know where I'm going. So this is the third way to go back this way. I guess I, I, I have some other uh, important things I'm gonna have to take care of financially sometime soon. So hopefully that sale goes on for a while. But if it's if it's only like 20 bucks, I might have to snatch it up. Let's wait, so where else have I not gone now? One of these rooms is this one. One of these brought me to another really long hallway. It might have been this one. It's definitely. It's just a room. It's not going anywhere. And this the seven door. And then this just. No, there's another door. 
Okay, I yeah, know this this is what this is the way where I turned back and it was like, wait, let me try the other room. Which good thing I did because I would have not realized I had to backtrack so much to get to the end. Cause I imagine the key is up ahead and I have to go to the end to to uh, get the uh, uh, yeah, make rights, even rights. Come on, come on. I am not peeking out there again. I've made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. They seem to have raised prices since I last saw it. No, no, say I support that. Cause it's still not nearly as expensive as a year ago, but yeah, if, if they're giving like a better product for like you know a good price and all that, and it's like it's like when artists do really good work and they overcharge themselves. It's good. To, it's it's I do appreciate their accessibility, but if they really if they they end up making like something better than Adobe does. I hope they don't end up charging as much as Adobe does. Because I, I very much believe in accessibility and giving the tools to everyone available. Because, like, there's so many people out there who just don't have access to resources or tools who could just do wondering, wondrous, amazing creations if only they have their tools and resources available for them. Sometimes even just having the language to explain something is very important for people to be able to, to, to do stuff. Dobby is of course still more advanced, but they're catching up fast. I hope so. It's, it's always nice to see like more variety in the market. Adobe's kind of held a lead for a long time. So did I just reach another dead end? Am I missing a door? I was like, dang. Guess there's gonna be another really long hallway. I'm back this way. Also, I've only found one secret so far, and I feel like I must be missing some. I must be missing quite a few. Oh, there's one here. Like, let me just <laughs> jam in on the wall. I think in Uber to Dodo's files, that's also really good because I happen to have a lot of PSD files on my computer. Oh, well, there we go. I have quite a few PSD files on my computer. So I'll be able to just copy them over. It's gonna be nice. So is that, is that the only secret? It's just another dead end again. Gosh, just for like the third level, they made us way too complex. Kill the bad man! No, I did it, Scrum. I'm doing it. Welcome on in, Scrum. Can me open up my sound thing? Because then I can play sounds. And hello, Mr. Welcome on in. It's good to see you. How's it going for you today? Where's my bag? Meow, what do you do? That's not bad. I don't know. I have a bad sound effect somewhere. Just everyone just say bah. Bah. How you doing, Scum? Killing on the bed. Is this is this just another dead end? No, this is this is where I came from before. And then this is... This is the end? <laughs> Where am I not gone? Are you kidding me? Did I just miss something on the right back at the beginning? Is is there just like something right... Right at the beginning? That I, ju I, ju I just missed? 
because I feel like I've given up on trying to find the secrets in this <laughs> and, and f for all of them for this level at least because like dang where else can I even go and this is also dead and bad thank you for that bad was it oh I can go in here I guess Super life being a stinky, being a stinky dang nonce. My leaving. Yes, this shit, this shit's so dang dramatically bad. I was even here, didn't I? Oh, I definitely went in here. Backtrack to somewhere near the beginning. Yes, yeah, somebody fixed the Charlie Chaplin. What's the deal with that? They must be a really big fan of movies around here. Is this the really long hallway? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a run button. I forget. I can just I can just zoom. I can just I can zoom. Yeah. Oh, this? I don't think I've been in here. No way, this is where... This is where I started. This is where... Yeah, there's a- there's one of those things pushed in. Is this where I just came from? Yep, yeah, okay, I did not go this way then. What just happened? Something just, like, glitched. There's some sort of visual glitch. Did you all see that? I think I went over this way. What's over here? I guess I definitely didn't go that way. Oh, we're this way. Wow, dang, they, they really made these early levels so huge. Secrets! Secret, secret! Got a secret! Give me that delicious, delicious dinner! Oh my gosh, why? The thing about the affinity stuff I usually found out is so you can use a hotkey in one of them to open the same file in another program. Well, that sounds useful. Especially if you're like uh, editing cross platform between programs. Like the kind of stuff you do in like Adobe Premiere and After Effects. If you're working on video stuff. There's no nothing. Not a secret. Down here. Oh, there's a key. This is why you gotta check every room. Also, I gotta say, this is this is so weirdly spaced out. The fact that I had 33 HP for so long, and there's nothing to restore my health, and then there's like 10, like, chicken legs on a plate, whatever whatever that's supposed to be, it looks like it's got some mashed potatoes in there too. There's like 10 of those in here, just all in one place. The, the video for video, I use a free program called DaVinci Solo. I'm gonna have to look into that one as well because uh, I've been doing some video stuff myself lately. That I've been using Premiere for that. You're quite a good next time video editor though. So if you say it's a good program, but I, I just share one by that. And as, excuse me as I am, uh, I'm, I'm trying to find as many secrets in this game as I can. So excuse me as I just shove myself up against the wall and continually press enter, hoping that I'm gonna open a hidden door. Like right here looks like it would be a good spot, but no. It could, it could be anywhere. It could be, it could be right here. Hmm. 
Okay, so I need to go back to the other place now that I have the key. Go open that other door. I must find the secrets. I need to get, I just use Gimp to make it. Gimp is also a good one. I, like, when I first used Gimp, it was years ago. And I imagine it's a different program by now. It's, it's never been a bad program, but... It definitely wasn't the same as Photoshop for me when I first used it. But I'm gonna have to give it a try. Gosh, I have to say, like, I'm shamelessly using OBS right now. And I first used OBS back in, like, 2005. Probably, probably like 2005. Because that's when my Twitch account was made, was 2005. And... Yeah, OB OBS was an entirely different program back then. It was not nearly the same as it is now. I, s I swear... I was about to say that it looks like the perfect place for a secret spot, and I swear, I swear I clicked on this wall multiple times. And it's just health. It's just health that I can't pick up, which I really needed earlier, but I just can't pick up. Give me your eyes is a mess, but I can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, seems like it'd be good for something simple like making a gift, for sure. Because that's a, it's a pretty simple task. Okay, so now I can go in here. And now I have to find another key, I guess. Come on, what, what are they standing in here? What are they guarding? It's gotta be a secret. Is this the actual end? Oh, this is the actual end. I was gonna say, what's the other door? I think the other door is just which where I started, actually. So now I need that health. There's gotta be it. This is such a huge room. There's gotta be something here. There's gotta be it. There's gotta be it. Excuse me as I just... Not. I'm gonna go back and grab that health that I that I saw just a moment ago. Because uh all your health and ammo carries on I, I swear I also clicked on this one earlier. I fucking swear to you, you all saw me. I I swear that's that's it's I think you can just zoom by too fast and it just doesn't register. Sometimes there's also like secrets within secrets, as, I, as I've said. I don't want to like spam you with, a, with that grunchy noise every time I jam the, the keyboard. Yeah, dang, I have only 51 HP, I could use some health. Let's move back this way a little bit. Back those, that was just right here. I'm back up to 100% already. Also, uh, Resolve does not support gifts in videos since it's aimed more towards cinema professionals who don't usually need gifts. I mean, I guess, I guess you can always just convert an, a, a gift to an MP4 and make it work. You, you can make transparent MP4s. Which am I trying to get this way? I mean, I mean, you can make transparent MP4s. There you go, finally made it. Finally made it through. The par for this level. Yeah, they only found 40% of the secrets after all of that. So the par for this level, it's like both the, uh, the average expected time they expect you to run through this level is two minutes. It took me 25 minutes to only find 40% of the secrets. This, like, I, I've said this multiple times before, but this is a game. When you, when you, gosh, I need a sip of water really quick. Let me, let me take a drink before I speak. Oh, 
like when, when you all watch me play other games and you watch me try to 100% games this this is the game that got me started on wanting to 100% games and explore every area and find everything I could because this game has so many hidden secrets so it has so many hidden secrets in it when I was four years old or however old I was I, I would just play the game by just running up against every wall and jamming the button trying to trying to find a wall that can open up Don't uh. she know who am I gonna like I'm I'm not the kind of person to just you know, go out and call everyone a Nazi or anything like that. But I honestly just have to say that this person is literally Hitler. I'm sorry, it just has to be said. It just, it's... You know, I can't stay silent about that any longer. MP4 saves uh, using JPEG images. It cannot support off channels. There is, there is some type of transfer in MP4 that can be made. There's, it's, it's, I know Adobe Premiere can do it, because, um, I know Adobe Premiere can do it, because if you actually look at the thing, when I, oh my gosh, the sound went away, if you look at the thing when I change scenes, that scorp is actually a transparent MP4, and I don't know how I made it work. I don't know how to make it work, but I swear that's an MP4. I know animated PNGs are a thing. If you if you, if you can use a PNG, animated PNGs are a thing. So is that a hallway? I, how do I actually get in that? There's gotta be some. Yeah, let's. You gotta be able to get back there from the secret wall, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure you can't actually destroy things. You may not have knew this, but you actually have a knife in this game, too. I'm trying to bring you this. Gosh, I love that. I love that springy knife sound effect. <laughs> so that's totally entirely the sound that a knife makes. <laughs> and it's just, it's just once I get the SMG, I'm just gonna use the SMG because why? Why use anything else when I have an SMG? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Delicious whatever it is on a plate. Give me that delicious to tofu key on a plate. So you want to wait? This is where I came from. Okay, I can go somewhere else. Do you guys are here yet? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you're gonna strafe more. This game is so weird because you have to like, I have to hold down control if I want to strafe. Otherwise the arrows just make me look left and right. But I use the mouse to look left and right, but the mouse also moves me forward and back, so it's it's so strange. So that explains my erratic movement at times. That's that's just how I like playing. I, I think I think you're more of an expert on this than I am, Sylvie. To be completely honest. I'm not. I, I haven't actually done much video editing, but. Get her up, Scorp! Oh my gosh, there's so many. Also, hello. Hey there, Sinister. Welcome on in, it's good to see you. How the will are you doing? Back here in the war zone. Here's a big room, let me explore out this way first. There's so many ways to go. Oh, that, there you go. Like, how am I supposed to, like, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. I 
have made a mistake. I have made many mistakes. I only have 21 ammo. Oh my gosh, they're all, they are all after me. I might actually die from this. Yeah, you're leaving. I understand. It's not the time for your leaving. Not the time for you to be leaving around like this. Oh my god, no, my knife! I told you, I told you. I told you I'd never use a knife, but there we go. Who gave this skunky cat now? Hey there, Bone, welcome on in. I'm not sure who, but surely they're gonna pay for it greatly. That was my first death this entire game so far. So for the stream's been going for an hour, and that's my first death. And hey there, Lizard, welcome on in. Games are going well so far, except for something I don't yet. But it's good to see you, and I hope you're all. Also, how are you doing, Bun? Oh, I'm about to <laughs> Stop the right sound! Oh, no, well, welcome on in. Holidays are making me feel mad, I'm not gonna lie, but other than that, the usual I'm thinking, uh, well, I've got my fair webtoon set and involves a play because the game Pathologic has been giving me ideas. Well, that sounds fun. A, p a plague! A plague certainly is always a a time. Alright, fun. I'll still be here for a bit. Take your time to be RB. I'm gonna have a sip. Mm. That, that, that's, that's, I feel like you can draw from your life inspiration with that at least. Good to hear the game's been going well. Thank you, Lizard. This, it's... It's been a pretty good game so far. I've been very happy to get out playing this again because this was... This was probably the best in Yav's Crimes I'm doing. I'm, I'm actually doing the opposite of Crimes. I'm here to stop the crimes of these sticky people. These liberal, actual Nazis. But yeah, I'm excited to play this because this is probably the first first-person shooter that I ever played in my life. Back when I was but a wee child. I might die again. I don't want to die so soon already. Back when I was like four years old. I was playing this game. Come on, come on out. You wanna fight? Just come for me. So it's it's very nostalgic for this. And as for me, I'm doing, I'm doing right on myself. I'm doing right overall. I don't know, you know, life life has been strange lately. But today's been a bit of a fine day. I got to see people in the in VR earlier. Got to hug a pink bunny in the virtual, virtual world. Dang, I could really use that health that's back there. Funny story, I didn't play this until a year or two ago. Technically, since I'm playing the brutal mod, it's a, it's it's like a good game. It's a classic. It's like if if any of you search me for a second, if any of you have if, like if you've ever played Doom, but you haven't played this, this is like definitely worth a play because this is this is like Doom. The first Doom is basically a spiritual successor to this game. In fact, I believe I believe that the character you play in this game is actually um, the great great grandfather of the character that you play as in Doom. So it's it's sort of like carries on in a way. It's made by the same people on like the same engine. Except this game came first. So it came before Doom. Let's try hearing this one again. Gosh, I wish I had my SMG still. Oh, oh, someone's about to give me one because they're shooting me in the back of it. <laughs> Dang, I am really running low on ammo. Demon's dying 40, exactly. Someday someone will combine, combine them all. 
Well, I need to be careful. I am taking so much damage already. I know I came a bit low before I did, but my introduction for Wolfenstein was the return to Castle Wolfenstein on PS2. Which I showed with the Xbox version of Tides of War. That was also a good one. I could have a better. Oh, well, there's the key that I need. I had a fun time playing that one. It's been, been, been a while since I... Since I have the opening. I almost forgot that they, they made another... Wolfenstein back then. Am I collecting scalps? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm not gonna leave here until I have, like, much, much as many as I can, I guess. It, do, it does actually count your kill ratio. It does, uh, it does actually count, it uh, keeps track of the stats for, if you really want 100% of it, you gotta, oh. gotta get them all. How am I even running out of ammo so quickly? I was always full of ammo on the last level and then... No, I'm just running out. Cause I'm gonna die again. I only have six bullets, are you kidding me? If I recall, connect, I recall correctly, they connect Wolfenstein with Jim by saying Blask is related to Jim Marine. Yeah, right now, right now I'm playing as the ancestor of the person in Doom. But it's all, it all ties together. Collect 100 Nazi scalps by my night to night squirt. I'm, I'm trying. I've, I have not played the brutal mod for this. I haven't actually really played this game much since I was like four. Since like probably older than four, I just remember being like four years old and playing this. I'm gonna die. This is it, I'm gonna die. Wow, this is it. I can't completely get my butt kicked on the fourth level. Maybe I should go with easier difficulty. That's, that sounds like it'd be brutal though. Cause like... I'm already... I already struggle enough with this game. I feel like something that makes it more brutal would just... Destroy me. Huh? See, this, this is why I just click on every wall. Cause there's nothing right there. Maybe this puddle of water, but there was nothing indicating that that was actually a thing. Yet here we are. Here's this and this big open and just full of treasure. Oh yeah, it's health. I was about to say there's no health. And this is the only thing that's saving me. There, there's honestly just not enough ammo if you don't find the secret rooms. Okay, I'm playing the brutal mod because I am spying myself. I kind of feel bad not playing the classic. I mean, classics are nice, but there's th th there's definitely a lot of room for improvement in, in games like this. This definitely feels a lot different than playing like a more modern thing. Like the controls are definitely kind of frustrating a little bit sometimes. To my understanding, they didn't differentiate the walls to indicate what has a secret. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no real, like, tell for it. Some of them have, like, paintings and stuff on them. And those paintings... Oh, he had an extra life is what happened. Okay, I got five lives. I guess I don't have to worry that much. It's also another reason for finding secrets. Just get a bum into every wall. I typically try to. I try to let on my inner bun. And then I give him this one. It's the same one. Okay, so this seems to be a dead end. But this is not... Where did I come from then? So, like, some of them have, like, little markings. And, like, there's nothing on the walls. Sh show any different. All the walls look exactly the same. Go shell them. Okay, 
Okay, this is this is my for my entire life. Oh, here's the end. This is for my entire life. I've just tried to find every secret and explore every area in every game. I guess this is the end, and I could just finish it, but like I didn't find all the secrets, though, did I? There's no way. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. So I like Indiana Jones probably had to bump it through all until he had adapted. Oh, there's a secret passage. But it's a fair point. Makes a lot of sense when you think about it like that. Me. Is that? <gasps> you shot me! You shot me! Oh gosh! Okay, so you see, this is this is why it was worth it. This is why it was worth it to to search every area and not just finish the level right away. Because there's a lot more to see still. Three minutes for the secrets. Besides, if I get more points, I get more lives, and it, it it's getting all the treasures part of it. As well. Yeah, this is this is where I died before. This is where every corner of the mansion surrounded me. Squirt with a mini gun. You don't want to mess with squirt with a mini gun. She ain't afraid to use it. It, it made me a little bit afraid. <laughs> Just a tiny bit afraid. <laughs> and there's the health in here, I need all this health. Is there something in the, the final version of Brutal Wolf 3D? You get rewarded if you get all treasure pieces on that one level. Well, that's good to know. I'm definitely a treasure seeker, so I'm sure I'll be rewarded greatly. Okay, I kinda wanna try the brutal version sometime and see what that's like. Cause I've, I've never actually played this game modded before. I've only ever played the original. And... Is there any other rooms to explore in here? Explored every room. Probably haven't found nearly all the secrets. When you get a sec, you have to see the added ice and she's still be dead. <laughs> Alright, I'll go. Check that in a moment. I'm trying to remember where the way back out is. I think it's this way. It's the thing in here. Here's the room here. I'm gonna go. I think I'm just gonna finish this level up. And. Yeah, there's definitely a secret I never found because there was like a... There was a, a place behind the barrels that I never got to. Fortune finish me out to find a secret passage. Wow, I only have a 14% secret ratio. But I found all the treasure. And I got some extra lives. Let me... Let me take a look at this. This thing that you sent found. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me let me mute this really quick, so I wanna I wanna hear it. Actually how do I put this on? How do I put this on the stream? How do I how do I browser capture? Okay, I wanna I want everyone to watch this. How do I how do I do? How do I do window window capture? Oh, there it is. There it is, and I'm gonna, gonna mute this game. Sorry, but I just wanna do this right. I want everyone to witness. Unmute site. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. 
Everyone prepare your buns. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gosh, that was intense. I thought he was gonna eat me. It's it's I I found okay. myself Here being sucked into the vortex oh, of his pure Everyone prepare your buns. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well done, Stealthy. Well done. Let me just watch that one more time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, boy. Everyone prepare your buns. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better every time. Also, you can hear me saying, get your buns ready right before he screams. Here we go. Oh, boy. Everyone prepare your buns. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I feel like there's this just pure concentrated vortex of of noodle noodle rage. And that is just just drawing everything towards it like a black hole. Like a black hole that no one can escape from. That was that was beautiful. Very well done. Is that why you and Bungo are? Because you're trying to absorb the reality into your own realm. You're not, you're not supposed to know our secrets. Bun is gonna go to help in bed. Good night, everyone. Alright, Bun. Good night. Enjoy your tub. You definitely deserved it. Hope your buns get nice and steamy. And and thank you for sharing that with me. I appreciate that. Bye, bye, Bun. Oh yeah, also, Bun, if you're still here, I keep saying you gotta do Matura's mask. We should do, we should, uh, we should do Matura's masks sometime this week. If there's a day that's good for you, Bun. Just let me know if there's a day that's good. But otherwise, good night. Sure thing. Alright then, good night. Be a good bun, get some sleep. I may be streaming for a bit if you if you can't sleep at night. Let me see what you'll be watching then. This might not be the show like the, the most relaxing game, but whatever. Yes, drink lots of water. It's very important. I may know, I may know your secrets, I just ain't saying. Appreciate it. That's why, that's why they're secrets. Gosh, I, I, I would love to use that minigun, but they, it's gonna blow through all my ammo. I don't think seven bullets in a minigun is very much. We nearly have one type of ammo. For, for all your weapons. Oh, I, I, I totally could have shaken them out. When they were okay. Maybe I'll try the pistol. I mean, my pistol will do a better job conserving my ammo. I don't know, but it's worth a try. Say my name and it means my life. I was in fact aware of that. That is, that is one of the few German words I actually know. Is is how to say my life. Probably thanks to this game. Because it is actual German. They're sad that they that they spent all their life being a Nazi. They should be. A waste of life. Coding. <laughs> Coding. Yeah, kind of, kind of secret. So, like, a lot of them are marked by portraits like this. And, and yeah, I do appreciate how it's definitely the same texture on every side of the block. So even on here, there's like a, 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 a picture. Even though it's just randomly inside a room. Gosh, they don't want to die. Just in here. Just jam these walls. This, this game is also... Part of why I play with the arrow keys. 
like if you if you look at the controls the the default uh, movement controls are actually left right up and down by default you actually use the arrow keys there is no w or a or s or d and i've had people like criticize me in the current time because i play a lot of I, like if i play a shooter i play it with the arrow keys and people are like no that's the wrong way i'm like listen this is probably the first shooter that i ever played in my life back when it was tiny tiny little little larva and I, I i have never changed my ways in like in like 20 something years nearly 30 years where this game came out but i also i also like to bind everything around with the arrow keys like i use the arrows but i also use shift and control and like the number pad and like the Delete, like delete and page down. I grew up using their keys in FPS games. Heck yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Honestly, it just it makes more sense like that. Because of course the arrow keys are a movement. I don't use them anymore. I see. I guess. I guess. I guess things could change. And honestly, like, there's nothing wrong with either way. I've definitely played games in both in both ways before. I feel like when you're younger, especially, it makes more sense. Like, of course, of course, I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move, because that's just that's the, that's why they're there. That's why they're marked as movement keys. It's all it's all all depends on your playing style. Like, like, uh, my, my reload button is the zero on the number pad. So I can, like, play the arrow keys and I can just wing my thumb right on the zero to reload. So I don't like, I don't like keep reload bound to R or anything like that. Back then when you did, didn't have a standard mouse and keyboard. Then again, back then I always said I never played much of PC. It's more of a console gamer. Yeah, I definitely was too. But then probably when I was like 12, I really started playing PC games more. Sort of went from PC to console to PC. The, I mean, technically my first ever video game I probably played was probably Super Mario on the NES. Because I know they re-released the NES in 89, which is the year I was born. And I'm pretty sure that that's the Nintendo that I actually had. Because that also came with the re-released Duck Hunt gun, which was orange instead of gray. And I know that that's a fact because I used the Duck Hunt gun as my gun in Splatoon. And, anyway. <laughs> I should play Splatoon. I finally found the second controller for my Switch. And, uh... I should... I should... Re I should really play some Splatoon or, like, finish Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, so this... So, uh, I'm, I'm playing this on DOSBox, and DOSBox actually, actually recognizes my Xbox controller as a joystick, and this game has a joystick support, so I was thinking of trying to get my Xbox controller to work with this. And it also recognizes VJoy, and VJoy is a program that I use that lets me use my... It, it, it basically sets my VR controllers as joysticks, and so I'm wondering if I could play this game with my VR controllers because DOSBox actually recognizes my VR controller things as an input. You could probably play Mech Warrior with a controller. Dang, I want to play Mech Warrior 
with VR controllers. That is what I want to do. I want to pilot a mech in VR. I want to pilot a mech with VR motion controls. Imagine that. Yeah, where is the VR mech in the game? Has, has no one done that yet? I wonder, if, I wonder if that's like a thing in VR chat, maybe. I kind of want to go in VR chat and see if there's like a mech game. Because that would be the most amazing thing. Fun fact, did you know you can plug in a Sega controller in an Atari 8 I did not actually know that. That's really cool to know though. There's, there's some like... One thing I did know though, is that you can actually... You can plug a MIDI cam into the audio video port of a Sega Genesis and it'll fit. The, the Sega Genesis audio video connector port is, uh, it's almost the same as a MIDI port except it has two extra pins on it. But it's, 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 it's almost the same as a MIDI port. I always wondered where, why there are random walls in this Nazi castle. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of strange. Like according according to this, if you look at the bottom left, it says I'm on the fifth floor. Why is there a well on the fifth floor of this like castle I'm in or whatever? Oh, there's a lot of them in there. This one HP. They literally they sat there waiting for me. Well, this looks like the end. But but there's more secrets. There's more secrets and I haven't died yet. I can get run into another enemy and get my one HP taken down. I I can't say it. As as far as mech games go, uh Titanfall 3. Titanfall is a really good game, and Titanfall is basically a prequel to Apex Legends. And there, I know Titanfall 3 is being worked on as far as I know. And I wonder if that's gonna have more support by the time it comes out. Because if that game takes a while to come out, it might not come out to like... By the time it comes out, it's like every game is gonna be VR. It's gonna be at the point where it's like, why would you not have a game in VR? James Rolf, angry video game nerd for showing that years ago. Something that's also a good photo modest as well, just for your phone. So you know, that would be nice. That would be the most useful thing ever. Cause I have one HP. Maybe there's like, I guess there's nothing to the walls in this, in this game. Part of me like thinks, wait, isn't there a secret out of well? I think I so I have memories of just being a little kid and my brother watch me play this and be like, wait, wait, no, click on my wall, click on the wall, maybe the wall is a secret, you gotta check the wall. So now I have it in my mind that like, wait, isn't there a well? Isn't there some sort of a well that has a secret? And I think no, I'm just remembering my brother telling me to to look for a secret there. We spent so much time trying to find every secret. And I am not finding many at all. You literally have to... You literally have to click on every wall. There is no way. There is absolutely no way. There's absolutely nothing at all indicating that this would be a secret. And there's literally no way. No way at all to find them all unless you just click on every wall. Is there a way I didn't go? This, this splits into the lot of rooms right here. See, that was some expert pro shaping. I also, this, this game is basically how I learned the word strafe. Because I would play this game, my brother's like, You gotta strafe, you gotta strafe. And I'm like, I don't know what strafing is. And it's because and you have to hold down a key to strafe left and right. Which is the weirdest feeling ever. Which is why I just don't shave. 
Oh, uh, there's a puppy in there. This room only exists so I can shoot a dog. That's where I started from. Back then, especially in the internet, I was still in its infancy. In baby steps. Yeah, back back when I first played this game, I never had the internet. We didn't. I, 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 my family had internet in the 90s. So it's fortunate for that. But uh, when this game came out, back we had DOS as the operating system on our computer. <laughs> and which is what this game is, is starting on right now. Like, uh, it's running on DOS. Um, you know, it's... We didn't, we didn't have the internet back when we had DOS. Like, the internet was a thing. The World Wide Web was not a thing until 93. But the, the internet itself was a thing before then. Gonna make dinner. Alright, Scrum. Enjoy your dinner. I'll still be here for a bit if you wanna, like... Um, come back or anything. If you play any like Gone of Fire Reborn or anything, I can join you on that. You'll be amazing if I can restore my health. I gotta get the Minecraft server. Link. I gotta check like in the Minecraft server too. I've been, I've been playing on the screen, it's Minecraft drum recently. I built a nice house. But I, I just started playing on the server. I suddenly get in the mood for Minecraft again. I mean, because there's like a big update and everything, but like. Once, once I start playing a game, I get in the mood for a game and I want to keep playing it. So I do more Minecraft sometime soon. And uh, I want to get like me and Scrumpet and everyone on the Minecraft server together. And I want to start making. I want to start building a big uh, player, player made. I'm getting so lost. I want to start making a big player made town for the starting area on a new survival map on the server. I just want a day where like everyone is available to get on there. Cause I wanna start everyone doing it together. I see like I, I I get so lost in this game, I'm like no, I I went down every hallway. There's no way I could be missing anything. And you'll notice that the levels actually start to get different as as you go on. Like uh Like you start to see uh, different textures on the walls. Yeah, it says get psyched. It, it really, really wants to pump, pump you up. It really wants to make sure you're ready for this. I don't think there's anything on this wall. There could be a secret in this wall. But I feel like there's not. Are you psyched? Are you feeling pumped up for this? Are you fucking ready? Gonna get, get, get yourself in that gamer zone? This, this is for true gamers only. Makes me want to play Doom as well. Like I wanna, I wanna play the original Doom. Like uh, I might play the DOS version of Doom. Since I already have DOS box up and running, and it's working pretty well. It took me a while to figure out how to change the resolution in DOS box. 
Oh my god, I had to change the configuration file at least three times to get it actually working. But uh, I wanted to make this look good quality for the stream. So I'm actually playing this in a... I'm playing this in a window that takes up most of my screen space. Oh, oh my goodness, I, I, I was scratching my back. I was scratching my back and they started shooting at me. trying to think of like all the games I played early in my childhood and I'm trying to think of like all the classic games so I can replay them. There's a, uh, I remember one game I played that uh, that came with, it, it either came with Windows or it came with DOS I think. I think it came with MS-DOS and it was just, it was just called Gorillas. It was sometimes known as QBasic Gorillas but I think it was just called Gorillas. It was, it was like that tank game where you just, where you choose your angle and you shoot a thing and you try to shoot the other person. Except instead you were, you were gorillas on the skyscrapers and you had to throw bananas at each other to, 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 to fight each other. And that was, that's one of the, that's one of the earliest games I remember playing. It, and I'm pretty sure it came bundled for free with, with MS-DOS. Good health. Just like that, I told you. I told you, you have to, even when you go in a secret room, you have to like click the walls in there because then there's another secret and there's even more health. And there's not any further secrets in this room. My, mine's secrets! Ah. Secrets out now. Everyone knows you're a stingy doo doo Nazi. I think, think there's no like no. Oh, so that's the end. So know that the end is down this way. Go down this way, yeah. Puppy! Gosh, why do they put so many puppies in this game? This game has a weird fascination for secrets within secrets. Especially a maze. Yeah, this, this reminds me now that you said maze, this makes me think of that, that old Windows screensaver where you're going through the brick maze. <laughs> this is, this is just like, this is when you get stuck in the matrix. When you're sealed into the digiverse. And now you have to fight your way through the Windows screensaver maze. That, that's what I liked about this game, like, you know, if I, if I made a video game, that is something I would do in a video game. I would put secrets absolutely everywhere, and not only would I put them everywhere, but I would put secrets within secrets. I would put fun secrets that no one would ever find, that only I would ever find. Because that's, that's always the stuff that I love in video games. Which is, which is part of why I'm playing this, because I have such like, a nostalgic memory of trying to find all the secrets. And I, even even in the current day, I'm trying to find the secrets and I can't because it's it's I can't see the the sound it makes by pressing a bubble against the wall. So constantly nonstop. See, sometimes I just speed through this, like shooting everyone without thinking. Sometimes I take some damage though. Well, there's way too many doors for me to go into. I think I made a miss one back here. It's in here, it's in here. I think I got them all. You know what screensaver you're talking about? It was Chippy for five to six year old me back then. <laughs> yeah, I kind of miss it. I kind of want to like set up my current screensaver to be like that. All those, all those like Windows 95 screensavers. Which are also in Windows 98 as well. All, all of those, there's something really... Like those, those are basically a pop art. They're, they're like cultural pop art. Because like they're... I don't know, I, I, feel, I feel like those should be in a museum. 
like the the the, the one that has you going through in brick maze, and also the one the one with all the pipes that that go around all over the place, are just like cultural icons. In the in the flying starfield, which also the flying window is. Oh, yes. This like needs to be preserved for yesterday. Nice, I just got another life. I'm pretty sure I'm doing better on this than I've ever done in my life. Uh, like as a kid when I play this. This is the best I've ever done in this game. I'm trying to think, I'm not sure how far I made it. I'm not sure if I actually made it. Because I know there's a part, there's, there's a... There's a part of the game where the texture of the walls starts to become all like mossy and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if I if I I'm not sure if I like played my way there or if I just skipped to the chapters because you would like skip to a chapter as well. But hey there Lou, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome to the Wizard. I hope everything is going. I'm about to bust. That was not the right sound. I hope, every I hope everything is going wonderfully. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, Foski, for the house. Do you appreciate that? And welcome on into you as well. It's just leaving, but I'm better now. Let's start to hear. Do you hope things continue to get better? But if you ever need, I am uh, here, to, here to listen to as best as I can. Uh, feel free to also just, just chill, just, just relax with the sweet, soothing sounds of the score. Do, do, do. Can we have a drink of water? Just excuse me, that was a pretty loud, vigorous call that I did. As for games to play sometime soon, and for more modern games, oh, excuse me, I, I was thinking about playing Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14, whichever number it is sometime. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, I see all my friends playing that, and I wouldn't mind. I don't know, it's been, so, it's been, it's been a while since I played an RPG. It's I, Behavior Spy, for Santa Paws. You've been good, Skunky. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, please, for getting a good word from me. I swear, I've, I've barely... I've barely stinked at anyone this whole year. Or I've, I've stinked a lot of people. Whichever is better for a skunk. I don't know if it's good for a skunk to stink or not stink. But whichever is good, I promise you I've been good. Hope you've been doing good yourself. Come on, it's gonna be a secret. This past year may have been stinky, but I have not been. What's this gonna say? I was just. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so used to there being words with that. Thank you so, so much, Leo, for that $5. It really does mean a lot to me. <laughs> even, even just a little bit, like, $5 goes all the way towards, like, feeding me and all that. Which, in fact, I'm not even sure how much food I have here. I'm not sure how much food I even have around right now. Uh, I might have to see if there's places open for, for stuff still by the end of the stream. I think some place is closing like 9 it's 9 right now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Don't know what to say, I'm just writing down stuff. That's okay. So, sometimes it's okay to just say nothing at all. Never, never need to say anything. Sometimes I just like just being quiet and not saying words. Myself. I'd rather just sit and observe. It takes too much effort and energy for me to speak. Oh, 
on this getting weird? I'm just getting lost in this maze. Just gonna jam on every wall. Developed by the same people who did Commander Keen. Oh, I have, don't remember exactly. This is this is made by id. id Software. And part of me wants to say yes, but I'm like, wait, are they really the ones that made Commander Keen? They're the ones who made a lot of classic titles. Like, they're the ones who made Doom. Like, this is this is basically a prequel, prequel to to Doom in a way. I think I think they did make Commander Keen. Pretty sure they did. Okay, yes, it, they, they, it's software developed this and Community Keen along with Demon Quake. I thought so. I wasn't, I wasn't confident about my answer. I wanted to say yes, but I'm like, no, it's been so, so long. I, I also somehow forgot that they were the ones who made Quake. Even though that's like, like, Doom Advanced. Quake is also a game I would like to play. Like, I wanna play- now that I'm playing this, I wanna play Doom, I wanna play Quake. Gosh, I'm suddenly being brought back to my childhood with so many memories flooding my mind. I played Community when I was like six or seven. I was at the hospital. Hope it was nothing major. Definitely, Community Keen would definitely be something that would definitely cheer me up if I was at the hospital. I'm sitting down. Gosh, that must have been so long ago now. Gosh, when I was six or seven it was was some number of years ago that I don't want to think about. There's nothing down this side or anyone down this side. So it just loops around. I'm literally running in a circle. So I came from that way, I think. Did I come from this way? Did I come from this way? Who even knows? Command, Commander Keen's one that I've not really played much myself. Okay, that's just that. Thought that was another doorway out. Oh, dang, I'm gonna like go through all of this. Let's, let's, let's just relive our childhoods. Play all these games. Interesting story that I heard that the creator of Commander Key wanted to continue to make games for a young audience and didn't want to continue with games like this. Yeah, that's honestly a reasonable way to feel because like I don't know. Commander Keen is, is is a treasure of a game, but uh, games like like this and especially in Doom are uh, more of a violent and gory game. And it's not like games are just for kids, but there's definitely a lot of kids that play games. But like I said, I was probably four years old playing, uh, playing Wolfenstein. But it's, it's, you're just shooting Nazis though, so I guess it's honestly wholesome family fun for everyone. Is that where you just came from? I'm getting so lost. Oh, I just accidentally made a full screen. Doom has easter eggs with dead commander keens and it doesn't really. I never actually found those. Bun's pride book got approved. It did indeed. He found a way around it, I guess. Commander Keen's helmet can be found in Doom 2016. So I never played that one. There's I never actually played a lot of the Doom games. I'm more familiar with that. Sorry, I'm gonna go. I'm a bit too agitated. Have a good stream, everyone. Alright, Lou. I'm sorry to hear that. I do hope you're able to feel better soon. And, uh, and you know, um, if you ever need someone to talk to you about stuff, I'm here to listen. And you have other people here with you, too. Goodbye for now, and I hope you have a good day. Sorry if I get distracted with uh, with reading the chat at all to myself.
gosh, I am getting so lost. This is the way I came from. This is where I'm supposed to go. And this just goes back here. Where did I come from? Where did I go? My part is all take care. Scrubber friends. Alright, Sinister. Bye for now. It's good seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Do take care. And I think, and uh, right, hope I'll see you again soon. Which way did I come from? Which way did, which way did I actually come from? I'm getting a little frustrated with this myself. Do you remember Pila? Face masks do amazing things. You can tell there's the other face left and it looks the same with me. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, okay, so this is where I found my key. I, you always have the best advice, Sinister. Gosh, I might need to, like, go eat food sometime. I don't really have food, do I? I'm trying to think of what I have for food. I have some tofu I can fry up, but I have, like, nothing to go with the tofu. I want to try, um... So there's a place that I, there's this, uh, place that has, like, a mix... There's this place I like to go to, and they have a mix of, like, Indian and Chinese food. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an Indian-Chinese fusion, kind of. And they have this, uh, this really spicy cauliflower. And it's cauliflower that's been battered and fried and covered in spicy sauce. And then it's, like, covered in, like, uh, they serve it with a bunch of, like, uh, thinly sliced onions and sometimes peppers and stuff on top of it. And it's, it's pretty dang delicious. In the place I usually get that from, I think they're closed right now for the night. I don't know if they still are open for the night. But I want to try making that myself at home, and I want to try making it... Okay, yes, this is the way to go. I want to try making it at home, and I want to try making it with tofu instead of cauliflower. So this, this battered fried crispy tofu and spicy sauce with a bunch of onions. Is, it's actually getting me so hungry to think about that right now. Oh my gosh, that scared me. That scared the heck out of me. <laughs> the, way, the way they said it, they're like, whoa, whoa. It's like if someone sneaks up behind your side, they're like, oh, boo. Okay, I found half the secrets this time. And 97% of the treasure. Get psyched. I'm not ready for that. I'm kind of tempted to like uh, go find some terrain. It's it's been two hours and I'm getting incredibly hungry. And like I don't know. I'm having fun playing this, but dang, I'm hungry and I just realized I don't really have any food. And if I make food. I probably have to like cook some tofu or something. Let's save the game. If not, save this game, this entire game. But I like the change of view. I can make it really tiny. There you go. Take a look at these graphics. Check out this frame rate. This is perfect. I can, I can, I can, I can see exactly what I'm doing. This is fine. This is good and fine. There's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, the levels start getting really cool. Like you have these rooms with like the pillars, and you can, you can actually shoot them through the. Like I'm getting shot through there. Yeah, this is the best frame rate. You could hang this frame on your wall. It's got such a good rate. I don't know. I might. I'm just getting really hungry suddenly and. If, especially if I have to get something delivered because, uh, see, I, it's my grocery deliveries haven't been giving me all the stuff I've been needing lately, so, like, I have some tofu, but I don't really have anything to, like, I, I guess I could, I, could, I don't know, I might have some peanut satay sauce I could use, but, uh, uh, Thank you for coming! <laughs> Excuse me, that was straw money. I don't have snacks, I'm out of snacks. I ate all my snacks. I only have tofu. I only have tofu and nothing else. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find some trade. See who's doing what. 
Okay, I'm gonna look up what to get to get groceries like tomorrow. Oh, this is taking a while to load. I'm trying to find some trade, but it's taking a second to load. We could just read CC. CC raided me yesterday. And she's doing art right now. And she's a good chill person. You know what? Mm, yeah, that's very much not gonna run load. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna trade CC. CC's doing some art. Which is a little bit different from uh, from this, but hope you enjoy it. I wanted to try to free, but I first need to get a prick test and to see if I'm allergic to soy. Good idea because a lot of people really do have soy allergies. It's it's good stuff though, and I have a lot of advice for how to cook tofu and make it taste really good because it's like my primary protein source. But wow, well, thank you all so much. I hope you had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed this blast to the past with me. Playing uh, probably the first first person shooter I've ever played in my life, and uh, and, and yeah, it was good to have you all here. Thank you. All. Thanks for being such such good wonderful people. Thank you for the five dollar donation. Really appreciate it. It did, does help me out a lot. Thank you, Fos Fosky, Fosk. See, I don't know how to say that. Thank you, that for the for the host. I can't speak words. I don't know my words yet. I don't know how to speak. I'm hungry. I can't think anymore. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. I, I won't say woo. It's easy. Just say woo-woo in the chat when we read. Go woo-woo. Woo-woo-woo.